Namaskar. In this session, we will eliminate arbitrary functions of the form f of u v equal to zero, where u equal to some function of x y z, and v is also a function of x y z. Here, this f is arbitrary. F is an arbitrary function. Okay. Then this represents a family of surfaces. For example, suppose u equal to x plus y plus z and v equal to x square y. If you choose capital F u v as u plus v, then the surface corresponding to this choice of f is f of u is x plus y plus z comma x square y equal to zero. So our f of u v is u plus v. So this become x plus y plus z plus x square y equal to zero. So the corresponding surface is z is equal to minus of x plus y plus x square y. So this is the surface corresponding to the choice f of u v equal to u plus v. Similarly, if you take another function, then you get another surface. Okay, that's why this also represents a family of surfaces. Okay, so next we are going to eliminate this arbitrary function f. To find the corresponding PDE, first we have to differentiate this expression with respect to x and y using chain rule. Here it is given that f is a function of two variables u and v and also given that u is a function of x, y and z. Similarly, v is also a function of x, y and z. So by chain rule, we have to find the derivative of f with respect to x. So what is our chain rule? The chain rule is fu. Here fu stands for derivative of f with respect to u into ux. ux stands for derivative of u with respect to x. Okay. Plus fv into vx. So this is the <coughs> derivative of f with respect to x using chain rule. Okay. So this is the derivative of this expression with respect to x. fu ux plus fv vx equal to 0. Similarly, we differentiate this expression with respect to y. Then we get fu uy plus fv vy equal to 0. To form the corresponding PDE, we have to eliminate f. So this one implies f u u x is equal to minus f v v x and this two implies f u u y equal to minus f v v y. To denote this is our equation number three, this is equation number four. To eliminate f, we simply divide these two equations. That means we consider three by four. What happened? The left hand side become ux by uy. Right hand side become vx by vy. Then if you cross multiply, what happened? This implies ux vy is equal to vx uy. Okay, so this is the PD corresponding to this family of surfaces. We can rewrite this in a determinant form. This is the determinant form of this expression. Determinant of ux uy vx vy equal to 0. So this is the PDE corresponding to that family. So in general, the PDE corresponding to the family of surfaces f u v equal to 0 is determinant of ux uy vx vy equal to 0. Okay. Find the partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary functions from the following. The first one is f of x square plus y square comma z minus x y equal to 0. So now this is of the form f of u v equal to 0. So here u equal to x square plus y square and v is equal to z minus x y. So what is ux? ux is 2x and what about ui? ui is 2y. And similarly, what is vx? Here z is function of x. So derivative of z with respect to x is p. So minus become minus y. 
and what is vy derivative of v with respect to y so derivative of z with respect to y that is q so q minus x the pd corresponding to this family is the determinant of ux uy vx vy equal to 0 so this implies determinant of what is ux is 2x y and vx is v minus y and q minus x equal to 0 by expanding this determinant we get 2x into q minus x minus 2y into v minus y equal to 0 this 2 is common so this become x q minus x square minus y p plus y square equal to 0 yes. this is the corresponding partial differential equation yes this is the solution okay the next problem is eliminating the arbitrary function phi from this family of surfaces u is equal to x plus y plus z and v is equal to x square plus y square plus z square so what is our ux ux is 1 plus p ui is equal to 1 plus q right and similarly what about vx that is 2x this becomes 0 plus derivative of z square with respect to x that is 2z into p and similarly what is vy that is equal to 2y plus 2z into q okay so the corresponding pd is given by the determinant ux uy ex vy equal to 0 and this implies determinant of 1 plus p 1 plus q 2 times x plus p z and this is 2 times y plus q z equal to 0 then expanding this determinant we get 1 plus p times 2 into y plus q z minus 1 plus q into 2 times x plus p z equal to 0 here also 2 is common so take outside then cancel because the right hand side is 0 so this become 1 plus p into y plus q z minus 1 plus q into x plus p z equal to 0 so this is the pd corresponding to the surface if you expand this bracket and simplify then you will get a decent form like this you should do it yourself okay this homework is based on lecture 3 and 4 in next video we will discuss different types of solutions of pd okay thank you